project as well is that we bring all ages together to create a voice for the Methley and that we learn from each other and every time we meet each other you'll see different faces it's really important that we talk really and start a conversation what's really important though because keep using the word important is that we have lots of fun and that's really mainly you know why we're here Oh, my name is Amanda Lane, or Mandy Lane, sorry, and I had, oh, I had croissants this morning oh, for breakfast, so quite a nice. posh breakfast. Cool. <laughs> I see myself hopefully as a facilitator, really, between the artists and the groups that have worked with us, so um, kind of keeping the main focus using the artist's practice, so um, in relation to Mark, for instance, behind us, he's um, an outstanding, amazing sculptor. Um, well, I'm a sculptor, and I had cornflakes and toast and cake. I, I do public art and um, I also do my own studio practice but I'm also an educator. Uh, well for this project we've been working in collaboration with um, other arts professionals, uh, storytellers. We've created a space in, within the market environment where storytelling can happen or people can meet and today what we're doing is finishing off carvings for the space which is eventually going to be in the furnace but it's about giving children an experience of something that not many people do now and it is you know it's something that grabbed me when I was this age and I've been doing it ever since. I'm not expecting those to do it ever since but it's just good to give people experience. It's very interesting because you can't get too close with a spray paint can because it'll drip and bubble but if you get too far away it won't come out perfect so you've got to get in a certain position in order for it to actually show up. If it feels like you're doing something wrong but you're actually not and it's really awkward but it's fun at the same time. As far as I'm concerned it was the graffiti work. I have now got a tag I've seen it. and that was brilliant. What the kids produced was absolutely amazing. Up. I've been involved with People Speak Up since last winter and um, the project was in conjunction with um, young people and I'd kind of really underestimated how much the whole thing would get underneath my skin and how much Lanelli then just became part of my psyche. I've had such a amazing mind-bending you um, I have to remind myself that we're still in only in, you know, we're in August like my brain is still in May so I've been to Sweden and Indonesia and what's been so amazing I've gone like Sweden Indonesia Shanelli 
and this is kind of where I'm feeling so 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 happy which sounds like you know surreal even saying that out loud um, but for me it's so important and there's just so much um, of my teachings and insights and observations that I've brought back but at the same time because I feel I've got roots here I've been able to process them in a healthy way if that makes sense um, and yeah I mean I love this place I kind of want to stay um, yeah Week three, we did uh, arts, uh, beach art. We worked with Mark Trainer um, on the beach, so they've made these absolutely massive um, pieces of work. And what was um, really special about that is it was, uh, was one time only, so they knew that whatever they put into the ground, whatever mark they made in the ground, would only last that day. Uh, on the first day, we did shapes like a big, big circle, and we, we all had a round, we went all the way around the circle, and it looked really, really nice. Second day we did um, colour and pebbles, and then on the third day we did animals on the beach, like geckos and snakes, turtles. Being outside on the beach with Mark, that was just, it was beautiful, and I've never drawn on such a large, massive scale. I haven't used natural patterns so much within my own practice, but watching the kids just play with sand um, in such an inspirational way, and such on a large scale, as I said, and the drone going up and seeing how beautiful these images are, just to be taken away again, um, was equally just, so I can't, I can't choose a favourite, I can't choose a favourite, they're all very amazing artists to work with. Um, I think my favourite part of the project was going to see the residents at Kilimanjaro Care Home, just telling them stories, singing with them. It's a very humbling experience and I just love being around the residents there. Spoken word and it comes to me quite naturally, but I've never done anything like this before. So it sort of gives me that extra confidence when doing something new and it gives me a chance to express myself in a different way. Uh, I mean, it'll give those younger generations such as myself like a chance to realise that what we have today isn't as bad as what it used to be and how much the world has changed, I guess. Really, I don't really speak to old people that often. Well, I shouldn't say old people. <laughs> The elders, mm. my elders, like, it's very interesting to find out their stories compared to my own. I think um, as technology's come along more and families live further apart now, I was, you know, back when I was a kid, you know, your auntie was around the corner, your nan was around the corner, mm. you were all close, but now people, families can be hundreds, even thousands of miles apart and they don't seem to integrate like they used to, you know, like whenever my mum or dad went out, it was nan, the babysit or you know, but nowadays it doesn't seem to happen, so we're trying to show the younger generation and the older generation that they can still be together and have fun and enjoy each other's company really, you know. When we've been up to the care homes um, and seeing how the younger people are interacting with people in the care homes, hearing the stories being shared, the artwork that's been created there and it's something that I won't forget. I've looked after a dog, which isn't part of the project, but still. So we have had permission of the dog man to spray the and that piece you said about um, having permission is great, but is it okay to say the word permission off the council, not the government? Yeah. That would be great. As you can see behind us, we have a wall for spray paint and and we want Nathalie to be the history of spray paints.